Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't noticed, I do have a little different of a background. It's literally just like a poncho that I have, but it's still kind of cute. If you hate it, then please tell me and I will change it. And tonight is, today's Friday and oh my God, it's 11-11. Make a wish everyone, how cute. Anyways, it's Friday night. I'm going clubbing tonight with my friends in Philly and I thought I would just record like kind of like a get ready with me kind of thing. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and then catch you on the flip side. Okay, hi guys. So I took a shower and I did my foundation and my eyebrows. So now I'm gonna do the eyes because that's basically what this whole video is gonna be revolving around. I'm gonna put my hair back. And I know my head's being cut off, but I'm gonna zoom in more so that you guys can see like my eyes better. There. That way I don't have to lean in. But I am gonna do the tape method again, where you put tape underneath to get a sharp edge. Okay, so there's the tape. And I think the majority, if not the whole look, eye look is gonna be with the Morphe 350 palette. Okay, this palette is literally beautiful. And it was only, it's only like $22, except the only problem is that it's always out of stock. So that blows, but it's seriously the prettiest palette. They just came out with an all matte palette of this version and then an all shimmery one. So this one is like combined, like there's a shimmery one there, here, there. But like there's a palette with all shimmer and then there's a palette with all matte. But I like this one. This was the original 350 palette. So yeah, the um, I'm holding it upside down right now. It goes this way, but the three colors that I always use to start off all my looks throughout every single day is this one, this one, this one. So these three right here in the little right angle. And then I usually darken it with this one because those are really pretty and I love them. And then I always put this one on the lid because it's the prettiest. Like if you just look in the palette, if you just look at the palette, this one just stands out. It's so pretty. And then this is the one I always use to highlight the under brow bone and then my inner corner. And then I use these down here a lot, these two, <clears throat> because this is like a really, really chocolatey brown and then this one's like a red brown. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna start out with these three, one, two, three, and then we'll go from there. And I'm gonna take my fluffy brush that I talk about all the time. I'm gonna take that and then those three colors, all three of them, my three transition shades and just put that all over my crease. I'm not gonna make the eyeshadow really bold today. I'm gonna have really bold lashes and I haven't decided what I wanna do with my eyeliner yet, but I'm not gonna do anything super dark and super crazy with the eyeshadow because I think like too much is just like not gonna look cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the dark one. This one. Above the sparkly color. Also, I'm gonna link the Morphe website in my description box if you guys wanna look at their website. They have really, really, they're like known for having really good quality brushes for not like an expensive price. And their eyeshadows are really nice. And then I'm gonna take, if you need help um, blending out the top, you can always take like a lighter one, like just this one by itself or just that one by itself and then just blend out the top. Like that's what I'm gonna do with the fluffiest brush that you have. And if you feel like you went too high up with your eyeshadow, you can always take a light color. I'm gonna use the one in the top left corner and put it right on your brow bone and then just bring it down and then it'll blend out that top color. See? And I'm also gonna add it to the inner corner. And then I do want this look to be darker than this, just not too dark. And I'm gonna take Morphe M433. And if you don't wanna buy, because I know MAC brushes are quite expensive, if you didn't wanna buy 
MAC 217, which I got because I got it for Christmas. But if you don't want to spend a lot of money on MAC brushes, you can always get Morphe brushes. Morphe one is just a little bit longer. This is Morphe, this is MAC. And they look pretty similar. Sorry they're both dirty, but once again, the longer one is Morphe and then the MAC is the shorter one. And now I'm just gonna take <clears throat> this darker one, these two, and put them in the crease, outer corner crease. Okay, so now that I put the dark on the outer corners, I'm gonna take this shimmery one because I literally use it in every single look that I'm doing. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna spray my brush with Fix Plus. Um, you can either spray it with whatever setting spray you have or water in a spray bottle, I think, would work too. You just need to like get your brush a little wet. It usually works more for shimmery products. It makes them stand out more and it just makes them pop on your eyelids. So I'll show you the difference. If you take a little bit, my brush is not wet right now. If you take a little bit and you just put it on your lid, there's gonna be fallout and it's just kind of not as shimmery as it could be. So now I'm gonna spray it with Fix Plus and now I'm gonna do it to the other eye. But do you see the difference? This is just brighter looking, more metallic looking. It's shinier. And then this one's just like duller. So there's the difference. It just helps when you're going for like a really metallic-y, shiny look. And so I just put it on my lid and I blended it out. I'm gonna keep the tape on and then do the eyeliner quick. Okay guys, I did the eyeliner on each side. And it's perfectly, which is why you want to keep the tape on. So for lashes, I wanted to do something very glam and very in your face. So I'm going to use the Socialize. They're the Minx 2.0. They are beautiful. And then I'm gonna use the Duo eyelash glue. I actually hate this eyelash glue, but I don't have anything else, so. Oh, and it's waterproof in case I cry. That's so cute. Waterproof. <laughs> are on I'm going to do the bottom lash line because it's looking a little bare and I'm gonna use Morphe E18 once again it's a little dirty but it looks like this there it says E18 it's just like a tiny little buffer brush so I'm gonna take I wish these colors had names like I hate picking this up I'm gonna take this one blend it out with this one and then I'm going to add a little bit of these two. Okay. These two, these ones are going to be on the whole bottom lash line. And then I want the darker ones only on the outer corner.
Okay, so the lashes are on, the bottom lash line is done, and now I'm gonna put some mascara on the top and bottom lash line, I mean lashes. Now I think the inner corner and the brow bone are looking a little dull. So once again, I'm going to go in with NYX Ultra Pearl Mania in White Pearl, the most beautiful highlight. Drugstore highlight. I mean, not really drugstore because you can't really get it at CVS. Well, at least not my CVS, but you can get it at Ulta and stuff. But they don't have it at like Sephora, I think. But you can definitely get it at Ulta because that's where I got mine. I think it's only like $4. Like it's really, it's very nicely priced. So I'm just gonna shove that in the inner corner because we're going clubbing and you want your inner corner to pop. And if you want your lid color to be even more bright and even more poppin', you can even put some of this on your lid, on top of that lid color. Woo! And then tap off the excess, and then blend it out. Okay. It's time for the face. <sighs> Is anyone else like obsessed with the smell of self tanner? Like I, I love that smell and I don't know why, but I'm gonna use the same combination of bronzing things that I used in my first video. So the Anastasia contour kit and then these first two colors. And then I'm gonna, what I've been holding this whole time is my little e.l.f. blush palette. And I think I'm gonna go in with this one, this top one that kind of looks like, oops, <laughs> that kind of looks like a bronzer color. Because this whole look is pretty much orangey and warm colors and I don't really want like a, I don't really want like a bright pink to like make it look weird, you know what I mean? So I'm actually gonna mix it with this light pink one and then mix it with this one. So there is a tiny, tiny bit of pink, but not so much that it'll overpower. And then for deepening my bronzer, my contour, if you will, I'm gonna go in with MAC Blunt Powder Blush. Actually supposed to be a blush, but I don't play by the rules. <laughs> And then for highlight, as usual, I'm gonna use Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill, who people tell me I look like all the time. I think it's just because we both have red hair. Once again, I'm gonna spray my brush. I'm using the Morphe M441. It's just like a really big, fluffy, fluff brush. I'm gonna spray it with MAC Fix Plus. You know the drill. The same thing that I did on my lid, just to make my highlight pop a lot. So that's the reason for doing this. It just dampens your brush. You can use water. Ooh. You can use water or any other um, setting spray that you have. And like if you use setting spray, it'll set that highlight too, along with making it brighter looking and stuff like that. So Okay, and now I'm going to line my lips with the Makeup Academy, <sighs> what's this called? Lip liner, it doesn't have a name. It's just, I don't know, 0515B is the name, but it's just a tiny little lip liner by Makeup Academy. I got it from CVS, which I think Makeup Academy, the brand, it's MUA. I think it's only at like drugstore places. I highly doubt it's at like Ulta. And Sephora. I really really love their lipstick though. 
I got a matching lipstick because I really love their lipstick. <laughs> And then for lip gloss, I'm going to use Gerard Cosmetics Angel Cake. It's his Supreme Lip Cream. It's super cute. It's just really, really nude, which is why I put a lip liner underneath it. And I don't like saturate my whole lips with this. I just put it on the center right there and then the center right there. I don't dip it back in or nothing. And I'm gonna blend it in with my finger. And I put the lip liner there so that there's a barrier between the lip cream and my skin because they are really similar, which is what I like because I like nudes that are really nude. But you have to put a lip liner around your lips so that it doesn't blend in with your skin because then you'll look really washed out and it'll make your lips look really chapped and really weird. So lip liners help. Now I'm going to, my hair has basically has dried this is what I mean the back still is kind of damp but this is basically what it dries to this is my natural hair for anybody wondering or asking it dries really big and pretty wavy um, I'm just gonna finish blow drying it a little put some mythic oil in it and then straighten it for you guys okay so I actually decided to straighten my hair off camera because I don't know how long this video is going to be and like you don't really want to see me straighten my hair. I literally just section each little thing and then just straighten it. Like it's nothing special. So but if you do want to see me straighten my hair let me know. So this is the final look. Let me zoom in for y'all. Um, I hope you guys like it. I'm just probably gonna take a million pictures to get a thumbnail for the video and then I am going to shop because I have nothing to wear so when I come back and me and my friends are here and we have our dresses and we're all dressed up I will put a little clip of that in at the end okay there's Lauren's makeup done there's Devin there's Ian's friend and there's Ayn hey bye